have decoded the secret of the stars. Nobody understands where comets come from. A recent disturbance from Voyager has left scientists and experts puzzled. In a shocking turn of events, experts are saying that something may have touched the Voyager one probe in deep space. It all became more disturbing when NASA received strange, eerie data from the probe. This shocking discovery has sparked several questions and controversies in the scientific community. What did the Voyager probe encounter in deep space? Where exactly did it happen, and why? Should we be worried? Join us in this video as Voyager 1, just touched by something unknown in deep space. There's nothing that has fascinated mankind like the undying desire and mission to unravel the mysteries of the universe. From time immemorial, there have been people of deep insight and knowledge who would stop at nothing to probe our universe in search of answers. From physics to cosmology and astronomy, all these disciplines seek one goal, to uncover the secrets of the universe and answer the many questions written in the stars. One question we've always sought to answer is the question of whether we're alone in the entire universe. This curiosity has prompted scientists and space agencies like NASA to build instruments like the James Webb, Voyager 1 and 2 space probes, and the Mars rover. One of the early breakthroughs in the scientific community was the successful launching of the Voyager 1 and 2 probes. Before the Voyager probes, most of the scientific data we had was based on assumptions and the little we could make out from telescopes. However, when Voyager began to explore our little cosmic backyard, we finally got access to real-time data that put many of our theories and assumptions to the test, as well as birthed new theories and discoveries. Voyager 1 was launched from the NASA Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Although Voyager 2 was launched first on August 20th, 1977, Voyager 1, launched on September 5th, 1977, soon overtook it. This happened because Voyager 1 took a faster, shorter trajectory. Although the Voyager space probes weren't the first instruments designed to explore space, they were the first to reach faraway parts of our cosmic neighborhood. Observing planets like Jupiter, Uranus, and even the edge of our solar system would not have been possible without these probes. Jupiter, for instance, was a very mysterious planet before the Voyager missions. Scientists were pretty much second-guessing several details about this gas giant. However, when Voyager 1 did a flyby in 1979, it uncovered a whole new world of information. Scientists were, for the first time, able to study the unique rings around this planet, as well as its hyperactive radiation belt. It was also the first time we were able to get a detailed, clear photograph of the planet that highlighted many of its unique features. Among the features that finally came into clear limelight were the giant red dust storm and the many volcanoes on Io, Jupiter's moon. By November 1980, Voyager 1 had moved over to Saturn, reaching a height of 124,000 kilometers above Saturn's surface. Thanks to the close-up shots, scientists could finally observe the planet's rings and atmosphere. They discovered that the planet had wind speeds of up to 1,100 miles per hour, which is quite disturbing considering that the worst winds on Earth barely reach 400 miles an hour. Voyager 1 also gave scientists the first opportunity to see the several moons of Saturn up close and revealed the existence of traces of liquid hydrocarbons making it very similar to Earth. After this, Voyager 1 navigated its way to the edge of our solar system from where it burst out into interstellar space. However, by this time, Voyager 1 had begun to lose much energy, causing NASA to disable some of its power-consuming instruments, like its camera. The Voyagers were designed to be more effective and durable. This is why they've been able to withstand the intense radiation and harsh conditions in space for so long. Many experts believe that the Voyager 1 was ahead of its time because till today, it remains the longest lasting space probe ever built by man. And so you may ask, what made the Voyager 1 last so long? 
What kind of fuel did NASA use to power this spacecraft so that it could last for over 40 years? Well, it's just as we said. Voyager 1's technology was ahead of its time. You see, previous solar probes were equipped with solar panels, which harnessed solar energy to power the craft. Voyager, however, was equipped with radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs. The fuel used for these generators was plutonium-238, a radioactive isotope that gives off heat energy as it decomposes. The isotope has a half-life of 87.7 years, so it was expected that Voyager 1 wouldn't run out of electric power, at least not for a long time. At the start of Voyager 1's journey in 1977, the radioisotope thermal generators generated 470 watts of electricity, but this number has reduced by 50%. Currently, scientists at NASA believe that Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2, may have less than a decade before they finally give up the ghost. The amazing technology featured in the Voyager, one wasn't just in its durability and energy consumption. It also featured amazing instruments like a 12-foot antenna, which it used for sending and receiving radio signals. It also has a digital tape recorder able to store up to 67 megabytes of information, a computerized referencing instrument, and several gyroscopes. NASA specifically designed a deep space network for the Voyager, one with strategic bases in different parts of the world for picking signals. There are bases in the US, Australia, and Spain. The reason for the different bases is so that it would be impossible to miss any signal from the Voyager probes, regardless of their distance or the angle of rotation of the Earth. The deep space network antennas receive the faint signals transmitted by the spacecraft before amplifying them for processing and analysis by scientists. NASA ensures a continuous exchange of data or information between Voyager 1 and the mission control engineers. The gyroscopes and computerized referencing instruments help keep the antenna pointed toward Earth, so there won't be any problems when sending or receiving data. Just so you know, scientists also give Voyager instructions. For instance, if and when the probe derails from its original path, a simple command can be given to activate some of the thrusters and put it back on course. Experts at the Mission Control Base also monitor the health and status of the Voyager spacecraft to assess its performance. Thanks to all the sophistication, Voyager 1 was able to break through the helio sheath and enter into interstellar space. In case you're wondering what proof NASA had to know this probe had gone that far in space, one proof is Lyman Alpha radiation. This type of radiation is only detected in galaxies and cannot breach the interstellar medium that separates the edge of our solar system from interstellar space. And so, detecting Lyman Alpha radiation meant that Voyager 1 had encountered these particles from the Milky Way. At this point in space, high energy electrons emerging from outer space were in surplus, and Voyager 1 was exposed to it all. As a result, Scientists were getting a mountain of data, most of which indicated an enormous number of charged particles and cosmic rays. By June 2012, scientists announced that Voyager 1 was the first probe ever to enter into interstellar space. At this point, Voyager 1 was traveling at 10 miles per second. Although this might seem like a lot, it's quite slow considering the vastness of the cosmos. You see, even at that speed, Voyager 1 would still need at least 17,000 years before it can travel one light year. That's because one light year is actually 9.44 trillion kilometers. Surely there's no doubt that Voyager 1 won't make it that far. It's already running out of fuel. Unless there's a miracle or we are able to reach this space probe to carry out a refuel, it may simply crash and burn very soon. For the past 45 years, the Voyager 1 has been sending a steady stream of data, giving scientists a field day in terms of cosmic data. The probe is now regarded as one of the miracles of science, as it has far outlasted its predicted lifespan and has outdone itself in every way. However, it seems that this miracle is about to end, 
as Voyager 1 has just made contact with something strange in space. This unknown entity has caused Voyager 1 to begin to act strangely. Experts in the scientific community are now worried about the safety of the Voyager 1, but some are more concerned about what Voyager 1 encountered. So, what exactly happened to Voyager 1 in space? It all began when Voyager 1 started sending strange, terrifying data back to scientists. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory officials revealed that most of the data was coming from the Voyager's Altitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS. This system had the duty of handling the orientation of Voyager 1's antenna. However, so far as scientists knew, this system was functioning properly because it was still observing, gathering and sending data as it should. So many theories came up as to why this was happening. Some experts suggested the data may have gotten scrambled due to the far distance Voyager 1 is away from Earth. Currently, Voyager 1 is about 14.5 billion miles away from Earth. That's a long way, and surely there's a chance that the probe is beginning to have issues sending back data. It's been noticed that it takes over 22 hours for data from Voyager 1 to reach Earth, and it also takes around the same amount of time for command signals to reach the probe. Moreover, its position in interstellar space makes for a lot of uncertainties. No other space probe has gone far into interstellar space like Voyager 1 has. And so, there's no reference point to use as a basis for comparison. Perhaps going through the heliosphere and the interstellar medium may have messed up Voyager 1's data transmission system. Or excessive bombardment with cosmic rays may have done something to the probe, something scientists can't understand. Although all these may be valid reasons for why Voyager 1 is behaving strangely, scientists later found that none of these things were responsible. They discovered that Voyager 1's AACS had begun sending data through a corrupt computer. And so, although the data was good, it all got corrupted once it was relayed through the corrupted computer. Interestingly, NASA had previously disabled this computer, but for some reason, Voyager 1 picked it up and began using it once more. Once this problem was identified and verified, all NASA had to do was send a new command to Voyager 1 to stop sending data using its corrupt computer and to use the functioning one instead. Physicist Michio Kaku has been greatly drawn to the recent events surrounding Voyager 1. Michio Kaku, the world-renowned physicist who has made significant contributions to the scientific community, is one of the few held in high regard by scientists and space enthusiasts alike. He is widely recognized for his work in physics and his best-selling books, which he writes about the future of science and the complexities of the human mind and space exploration. One of his most popular works is The God Equation. In this book, Michio Kaku dives deep into the captivating concept of how everything began in the universe. He proposes an elusive framework that seeks to unify all the fundamental forces and accurately describe the behavior of all matter in the universe. Michio Kaku's God Equation holds the potential to unveil the deepest secrets of the cosmos and offer profound insights into the origin and nature of our reality. Kaku, in his book, works to explore various theories and approaches to the origin of the universe. One such theory is the string theory. This theory proposes that the fundamental constituents of the universe are not point-like particles, but are actually tiny one-dimensional vibrating strings. These strings can vibrate at different frequencies, similar to the way various notes are produced by a guitar string. Each frequency corresponds to a different particle, such as electrons, quarks, or photons. In other words, the universe is just like one massive guitar with different strings playing, and all the strings have to do their part for everything to function exactly how it's supposed to. One of the intriguing features of string theory is its ability to include both quantum mechanics and general relativity, two very important concepts. Quantum mechanics deals with the behavior of light and matter in the subatomic state. Meanwhile, general relativity talks about how gravity is related to the warping of space and time by objects that have mass. 
In the string theory, the vibrations of the strings can manifest as different particles with unique properties. String theory also proposes additional spatial dimensions beyond the familiar dimensions of space and time. These extra dimensions are hidden from our everyday perception, but they do exist. Michio Kaku has explored many concepts and phenomena in space, including elusive things like black holes, time travel, and the existence of parallel universes. But most of all, Michio Kaku tries to connect all of these theories, phenomena, and cosmic entities to the existence of a divine creator. Searching the universe for these answers is one task humanity may never finish. So far, our success in this journey has been thanks to instruments like Voyager, the Large Hadron Collider, and James Webb. These scientific tools have helped bring life and truth to some of our cosmic theories. But many questions linger. Scientists and physicists like Mikio Kaku are still on the lookout for one theory, one sign, one secret, one evidence that would explain the mystery of everything in the universe. A unified theory would not only explain how the universe began and evolved into what it is today, but would also explain why it exists and what the future holds. But the truth is, we may never get to that point until we understand the basic fundamentals and secrets of the universe. Only then can we truly arrive at the God Equation, the point of true, unambiguous clarity on all matters of the universe. For now, so many discrepancies and controversies exist in the scientific community. One such topic where there's deep controversy is the subject of whether or not we are alone in the universe. You see, one of the reasons why NASA sends probes like Voyager out to explore other planets is to check for extraterrestrial life forms or aliens, as you would call them. By looking at real data provided by the probes as they navigate through outer space, scientists can tell whether or not there are aliens in any of the planets or star systems a probe investigates. Voyager 1 holds a remarkable place in space exploration history alongside its twin spacecraft, Voyager 2. Voyager 1 was launched with the aim of exploring the outer reaches of our solar system to see what we couldn't. Although it was originally sent to study Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 far surpassed its initial objectives. However, despite traveling billions of miles across space, there is still no word of an alien or extraterrestrial encounter from Voyager 1. Well, at least none, apart from the recent glitch in which it rerouted its signals to its bad computer. You see, while scientists may have discovered the problem with Voyager 1's strange signal transmission, they still haven't found the cause. I mean, why on earth would Voyager suddenly decide to switch to a bad computer that had been shut down a long time ago? And how did the computer turn on by itself? This strange mystery made people in the scientific community believe that something may have touched Voyager 1 in deep space. In fact, conspiracy theorists believe it may all be the work of aliens. You see, after this strange event, scientists began to dig into the intricate workings of Voyager 1 systems. They also analyzed the historical records and technical documentation, going through every piece of data and command sequences to check for any anomalies that may have triggered the malfunction. But despite their meticulous investigation, they found nothing. This is why experts like Michio Kaku suggested that Voyager 1 could have made contact with a mysterious force and given that its cameras were shut down, we may have never seen this force or entity. Some conspiracy theorists even believe that the data sent back to us could have been secret messages from aliens Voyager 1 encountered. Michio Kaku described the data as terrifying. Now, why we may not know what this means, it's logically agreeable that Voyager 1 couldn't have possibly snapped on its own or rewired itself to send such messages with a shutdown computer. Even the wildest theories that we have in the scientific community suggest that the spacecraft had encountered something that defies explanation. So the big question is, did Voyager 1 encounter aliens? For a long time, certain facets of human society have believed in the existence of other species in various parts of the universe. 
Strange theories and stories have emerged from these beliefs, including things like the Galactic Federation, reptilians, nephilims, and so on. But perhaps the most popular mystery that makes many believe aliens exist is the mystery of UFOs and UAPs. Thanks to these mysterious objects and phenomena, many believe that aliens exist in space, on the moon, and even on Earth. And now, ufologists and alien conspiracy theorists believe that an advanced civilization may have hijacked our space probe. For all we know, Voyager 1 is out there drifting in the cosmic wonderland of the unknown. Although the theory of alien interception may be right, experts like Michio Kaku have called for a methodical approach to interpreting these mysteries. The prospect of Voyager 1 encountering an unknown entity in the universe presents a shift in our understanding of reality and our beliefs and theories about what exists and what doesn't. Such a thing, if confirmed, would lead us to question our understanding of the cosmos all over again and ponder on our place in the grand scheme of things. However, there is a great deal of excitement over this possibility. In fact, NASA may have been hoping for such an encounter, hence their preparation to equip the Voyager with a message of their own. This message was embedded in a golden disk full of data and information from Earth. The disk contains images, songs, and information from different spheres of human life. Consider it NASA's way of introducing us Earthlings to any species that may be fortunate to encounter the Voyager. Voyager 1 and 2 each had their separate disks, but so far, scientists don't know if these disks are still intact or if they've been assessed. Voyager 1 has brought us clearance on so many things as regards our solar system. It will forever be remembered as the first probe to enter interstellar space. But what if it is also the first probe to encounter alien life? If that is the case, then our search for extraterrestrial intelligence would literally come to an end. All that will be left would be contacting such species. For now, the scientists and engineers at NASA and other partnering agencies are determined to leave no stone unturned in their search for answers. Experts from various fields are collaborating to unravel the mystery. This one truth of what Voyager 1 actually encountered may just reshape the way we see the universe forever. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, Make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.